FIRE is a term that's used a lot in the investment and retirement community. The basic idea is that you want to retire financially independent as soon as possible. But as soon as possible, it could be years down the road. In this video, I'm going to show you how it's possible to achieve FIRE or financial independence, enabling you to retire a lot sooner than you probably thought possible. In the comment section below, let me know what your goal is for early retirement. How soon are you hoping you can retire from today? I'm not going to talk through the different types of fire. There's all different types of fire. Some are lean, some are fat. What I'm going to talk about in this video is how to get there as fast as possible. The biggest problem I see people facing and trying to retire early is having that consistent income that throws off enough cash every month to help them live on that enables them to retire early. We all need some type of machine or some type of mechanism that throws off more than enough cash for us to be able to live on and still grow our investment nest egg. And there are three basic choices you can look to invest in to plan for early retirement. Now one technique is to work hard to pay your debts off and then buy dividend paying stocks, preferably stocks that have a nice history of growing their dividends and then live off those dividends. The problem is that that can take quite a while to achieve that goal. And a lot of stocks don't pay that high of dividends. So that moves on to your second choice, which is to buy higher dividend paying stocks. With higher dividend paying stocks though, they tend to not grow that dividend as much. In fact, it might not even grow enough to make up for inflation. But there are some interesting higher dividend paying stocks and ETFs like JEPI or SCHD. And those have become favorites for long-term investors and people that are looking to retire early. If you'd like a little more information about some ETFs that pay higher dividends that might enable you to retire early, I'll leave a link to a video above and in the description below that you might want to check out after watching this video. Now, the third choice you might consider is to do what these ETFs like JEPI and QALD do, but do it for yourself. That enables you to control your investment and really cater it to what you're hoping to accomplish. Personally, I like to do a combination of all the three choices that I mentioned. I still own some rental property, even though I'm trying to sell out and switch that over to higher dividend paying stocks. I also buy some lower dividend paying stocks that have a history of growing those dividends. I also buy some higher dividend paying stocks. But ultimately, my favorite is to do choice number three, which is to sell options and control the majority of my portfolio myself. Option trading is something that the media, it tends to put in a bad or negative light. They say how dangerous it is. And like any type of investing and trading, if you don't understand it, it can be dangerous. But if you understand what you're doing, if you understand how options work, then in my opinion, it can actually be safer than just blindly buying some stock or blindly buying some ETF. But it's important that you understand how options work. If you're brand new to option trading, I'll leave a link to a video above and the description below that'll teach you all the basics of option trading. That's a nice place to start if you'd like to see if option trading might be something you want to learn. Here on this screen, you see my FIRE type of income spreadsheet. Now I started this option trading income spreadsheet to track how much net option premium I was collecting back on December 16th of 2020. Now today we're at the end of November in 2023. So this spreadsheet tracks almost three years of option trading. This column D is one that really shows you the power of trading options. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom of this spreadsheet to show you how much income we've collected over the past three years by selling options. Now this past Friday was November 24th of 2023. If you look here at the bottom of this column, column D, notice that over the past three years, we've collected over $547,000 net in option premium. Now the portfolio stuff that I'm working with is around 1.5 million. I don't have all my cash this account. I spread it around to multiple brokerages. And in this account, I have just over over 600,000 sitting in it used as security against my option trading. But I do have all the cash set aside and various accounts to cover all of my positions. But over the past almost three years, we've collected over half a million dollars net and option premium by buying and selling options. Generally, our monthly net option premium ranges from around $10,000 on the low side to as high as $25,000 on the high side. But generally, it's somewhere in the mid-teens. So we're collecting on average around $15,000 a month, give or take, depending on the market, and net option premium. So how does this buying and selling options work? How can you use this strategy to potentially retire early and potentially a lot early. Well, the process is simple. Find a list of stocks that you'd feel comfortable owning or buying and selling options against. Every weekend, I share my top five list with my patrons. That list contains more than my top five stocks. It actually contains all the stocks that, as of the weekend, 
like they were kind of in a spot that might like there was a good opportunity to sell some options in. We then look for opportunities during that next week from not only these stocks, but all the stocks that we watch to see if there's an opportunity to sell some options against it to generate some of that half million dollar income that I just shared with you. This list I'm showing you was the one I shared with my patrons this past weekend. Notice that BDX was one of the stocks we rated in this top list. It was a stock I was looking for opportunity to sell options in. And here you see the trailer I sent my patrons a few hours ago when we placed a trade in BDX. We sold to open the BDX January 19th, which is the option that expires in about 50 days. We sold the $230 cash share put option and got $2.60 per share for selling this option. Now I have no idea if the position will go our way or go drastically against us. I'm sharing this live. We literally just did this trade a couple hours ago. But I do like BDX as a company and I like where the stock is trading at on its chart. Here you see the weekly chart of BDX. And this chart is made up of almost the past five years of BDX. Notice that it's currently trading for right around $238 per share. Now we sold the cash cash care put option right here at this line, this $230 line. So BDS can drop $8.33 per share before that cash care put option is challenged. That means it can drop a little over 3% from where it's trading at. And that's at the area where it found support over the past month. So I feel comfortable in selling that 230 cash care put option. And if it were assigned to us, or we had to buy BDX at 230 per share, I'm comfortable with that. I will then turn it into a covered call and begin selling covered call options against the stock that's collecting more premium once we own it. Now the other alternative you might consider when selling this 230 cash care put option or something similar is if you like the stock, sell a cash care put option and a strike price you'd be happy to own the stock at. So we can sell the 230 cash care put option that expires in about 50 days. And if it were assigned to us and we bought it at 230 per share, we might decide, you know what? We just want to own the 100 shares that each option contract corresponds to. So we can just buy the stock at 230 per share and begin collecting that monthly dividend. But in my ops trading account, I like to generate as much option premium as possible. And so I would look to turn it into a covered call in this account. I do have an account in which I buy stocks outright that I plan to just own forever. And BDX is definitely one I'd be willing to buy in that outright stock ownership account. In this main ops trading account, I'm looking to generate cash flow by selling cash secure put options, collecting some dividends, and selling covered calls. Now we do have some more advanced strategies that we use to trade options, but that's our bread and butter. Selling cash secure put options or bullish put credit spreads and selling covered calls. And as you can see here, this is a system that works. We've generated over half a million dollars over the past three years by using my option trading strategies. Do all the trades go our way? Well, no, they don't all go away, but a high percentage of them do. And when they don't, we have techniques that we can use to try and repair those positions again using options. So that's your income machine, selling options, but doing it strategically. You don't want to just sell options at any time in any company. You want to pick the best stocks and you want to sell them at the right time, the time that will produce the most option premium and give you a high percentage opportunity to win that trade. There are three areas of caution. I want to make sure you understand when it comes to option trading and the strategy that we use in generating cash flow by selling options. The first one is before you do any type of option trading, please make sure you understand the risk you're taking anytime you're selling some options. If you're brand new to option trading, check out the video at the link above in the description below. It's a beginner's video on option trading. Please watch that video. It'll show you a lot of the basics that you need to understand before you even begin to consider selling options. I promise the time you spend watching that video, it'll be well worth it to you. Make sure you thoroughly understand the risk you're taking before you sell any options. As a matter of fact, make sure you understand the risk you're taking before you invest in anything, even if it's mature, stable, boring, old dividend paying companies. Make sure you completely understand the risk that you're taking when you make an investment. The second thing is to keep in mind that you're making an investment. Stock prices, they go up and they go down. Any investment you make has a level of risk. There are no risk-free investments. That's why you earn a return because you're being compensated for your risk. So make sure you completely understand the risk you're taking before you do any type of investment, whether it's options, stocks, real estate, make sure you understand that risk. And the third tip or word of caution I want to share with you is please don't use marginal leverage, especially when you're first starting out. Marginal leverage can be a tool you can use that if done properly, it can really help you amplify returns, but if done improperly, it can completely wipe out your account. The last thing you want to do is to retire, then have to go back to work because you've wiped out your option trading account. So please be very careful when it comes to using margin or leverage. Selling options and stocks and companies that I like is the easiest way I know to consistently generate monthly cash flow. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stocks or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see the kind of income our advanced version of the optional strategy can generate on a consistent basis using one stock, probably one that you heard of, 3M, check out the video at the link above in the description below entitled, How to Use the Optional 
Tool Strategy to make $11,000 cash in 3M. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.